Today I'm going to show you a robot vacuum cleaner and this one is really interesting to me because this one has CCTV built in. Yes, you hear me right. This one has a camera built into a vacuum cleaning robot. You can buy this from Amazon for about £450 after discount. So this is a company uh, called Trifle and the model is Lucy. Um, they do a Max and a Max Pro, I think, and they, those are the lower version. So this one here, they claim 33% more suction power than the 3000 PA. 3000 PA is usually the top end of the suction power. So this one go on beyond that. My video is not scripted. It's just my way to show you my experience what your money can buy. Um, if you like my video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel. And bear in mind that, you know, the flow of the video might not be as smooth as other big major production. So we talked about this one have a camera built in and CCTV. Um, another function that I would like to mention is that this one say that they can sense objects on the floor up to an inch in uh, size. Have you ever imagined what the world of your robot's vacuum looks like? This is what it looks like while they are cleaning your room. This is so freaky. Basically a little robot on the floor cleaning and looking at everything surrounding you. And this is real time, the robot is there cleaning. At the bottom here, I didn't give him any systemic drawing, I didn't lay any cable. It's just the kind of uh, like a laser sensor thing that they use to kind of measure where the walls are. And it also tells you some like electrical points where the random stuff like shoes, it can identify shoes in your room. This is the future, my friend. This is AI, you know, in, in the extent. I don't think it's AI in terms of like, you know, development and, you know, learning itself and self-awareness, the kind of AI. But it is something that, you know, there's a computer inside which analyzes everything that it looks at and turn into information into your room, into your phone for you. This is actually pretty amazing. And imagine that you're out and about and you want to spy in your own room and just to make sure everything is okay. Rip out your phone and then your robot will tell you exactly what's going on in your house. If there is part of the CCTV camera that you have installed and you want to see other parts of the room that is not covered, no problem. Just start the, start the app and check it out yourself. And, uh, you can see whatever your robot can see. Obviously moving along a lot, but you can actually remote control it with your phone, telling it where to go. So once your robots have done a round of cleaning, they will create a map of the room. So it looks like this on your phone. Um, if I lay it to the uh, position of the room, so basically the charger is over there direction of shoes right over there that little bit and um, there is part of um, the room so this is like an L-shaped room and you can see that dark spot right there that black spot on the top so basically that is the treadmill it's dark because they can't scan the area because the robot can't go in there and no point for the robot keeps like you know going to that area as well and then the bike is here the war is here the, the there's a board right here so what you can do is you can set a no go zone so what you can do is no go zone and then you drag and set up a box where you don't want yeah so if i do that the robot will not go to that area again and let's say here it looks a bit complicated let's say i don't want it to go underneath my um, easier look at this way let's say I don't want the robots to go under that place because there's loads of um, material cloth material underneath again what you need to do what you can do is just drag a box over here like that and once those red area is in place then um, the hoover won't go into those areas. 
So this is not how I usually leave stuff around the room, but you can see that the robot, when they approach the shoe, they will not touch the shoe. And you can see that it's no longer going underneath that place because just now we tell it not to go. You see how it stopped in front of the shoe. Normal uh, robot cleaner will probably run over it or push it aside. But this one will just stop, turn around and clean something else. It'll be interesting to see what happens when, uh, when the robots go over the wire because my previous uh, robot hate wires. They just keep tangling. So it'll be interesting to see when it comes near that place what will happen. He's thinking about it and then um, stop. So another pair of shoes right here, what will happen? It doesn't hit it. So it just stop, turn around and clean something else. Now it's going towards the wire. Oh, it's going, uh, well, it is riding over the wire, but it didn't actually go over the wire. It stopped, turn around and keep moving, moving around them. So rather than going over them, it kind of spots it, turn around, and clean something else. Oh, is it gonna hit the camera? Nope, again, you see the tripod, and then you just turn around and clean something else. Brilliant. Now this robot do have some sense of humor because look, look, listen to this. Please put me back on the ground. Please put me back on the ground. Okay, I'll put you back on the ground. It's going to be freaky. All right, so we can we can see that the robots can clean around the house, move around obstacle, which is fantastic. But actually, how well does it clean? Let's have a look. So it has done one round in my studio. And remember, I put a lot of screws and um, nuts and bolts down. So let's take this box out and let's have a look. So there is a little bit of debris at the back of the roll. I don't know what she just said. Anyway, so let's have a look and see what is in here. Now, I don't mind just throwing them back onto the carpet. The idea is to show you guys what this robot can and can't do. Um, let me move aside so you can see better. How do you empty this thing? Okay, so uh, moment of truth, let's open this. And behold, all the stuff that it managed to pick up from my studio right here. I don't even know that this studio is that dirty. It looks so clean, but actually it is not. And you can see at the back of the filter, all the fine dust is actually caught, caught up in this, this mesh right here. And yep, so let me just pick out all these bits because I don't need to clean it up again like that. So all the screws and snails, all the screw and nails and stuff like that is all being picked up. I'm not sure how, how, how to clean this thing out though. This is look like this look like a sponge which traps all the fine dust. I suppose you need a brush to actually brush that, brush that clean. But yeah, I press the home button and see if we'll find, find a way home. And when it finished cleaning, it will go back to the docking station and ready for the next time. There we go. When I got this robot, one of the things which intrigued me was the CCTV camera and the night vision as well. So I'm going to test that out. I'm going to go back to my house and I'll try to remote control the robot and see what it can see over here in the studio. I'm going to leave my shoes over there and leave my little shark over there. Let's see what it can see. Okay guys, so we are back in my house and I'm at my computer table and my phone is connected to internet 
and the robot is in my studio at the end of the garden behind this wall and another 30 minutes 30 minutes another 30 meters away um, you can remote control um, the robot like uh, many others but this one have a different because now you can see what's going on so this is exactly what is in my studio remember i switch off all the light and left so now this is in total darkness now without the infrared you see nothing but it has infrared building so you can see what the robot can see so if there is someone in your house obviously if you have, if you have turned on the motion detection it will turn on but let's say if you're nosy and you want to see what is at night in your house you can actually use this as a remote control robot you can use it while it's cleaning or just to browse around for example if we go to menu control and then make it a big screen now you can see some joystick control you can ask it to clean you can turn on the microphone and speak to the robot over there and um, yeah so let's move it now remember I have put something on the floor just now so let's go closer to have a look <coughs> we focus this as well <coughs> okay are you ready let's have a look So there's my shark, my shark on the floor. Go to this side. It's like a remote control car with a ooh with a camera built in. Okay, that's my first pair of trainers. There's my Peloton shoes. Oh, he hit something. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, that's th those are the dirt I just left on the floor. But don't worry, because I'm going to switch on the robot in a minute remotely and ask it to clean. So, yeah. Oh, actually, let's do something fun. Uh, let me see. Echo. Turn on bench. That didn't work. Oh, that did. <laughs> Echo, turn off bench. So this is total darkness. This is infrared. Let's switch it back. So at the moment you can't see anything, but let me remotely switch on that. So Echo, turn on bench. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing. So yeah, not only that you can remote control, but with light is really clear, you can really see a lot. But infrared is a bit disappointing though, I have to say. If you rely on uh, this as a CCTV, at night time I think you might have a bit of a problem. Sorry if you get a bit dizzy. Oh, I know. Let's do some remote cleaning up. Oh, when I turn on the suction, it kind of uh, turn off the microphone for some reason. Okay, now it's on maximum suction. And turn on the brush as well, I think. Oh, clean. Oh, I don't want that. Wait, 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 wait. How do you stop? Stop. No. All right, let's try some remote cleaning. So there's loads of dirt. Don't know if you can see it close, but let me bring it closer. Hopefully we can focus. So there's loads of dirt on the floor right there. So I'm going to turn on the suction to the maximum. And then if I go forward and backward, then it should clean it up. Okay, so that's one pass. Turn around. Some dirt still there, so let's go another round.
that is kind of gone. Obviously, you 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 probably won't be doing this, but <laughs> it just looks so much fun. Don't 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 forget. Now I'm actually moving the the Hoover and Hoovering at the same time. Okay, so as soon as you turn the Hoover off, then the sounds come back. But just now the pile of dirt on the floor is gone. So remote cleaning uh, does work. But anything, I think I have shown you guys enough. And let's... Uh, <clears throat> okay, so I think um, it's time for the robot to go to sleep and let me edit the video and show the world what this robot can do. I press the recharge button, it should look for the charger, which is right there. So it's going towards the charger, park itself, and ready for next time. Yep, let's do one run, and then it's going to be reverse. Back onto the docking station. Charging! <laughs> That's all I have time for you today and don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow and I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye bye. I want to know how it works because so far all my robots they just bump into stuff. Even the one with a scanner they only scan your wall so if it is a big object like a fridge or the side of the wall it will map it as a um, area of um, immovable objects but anything in between like for example if you can see my studio here I got chairs tripods and sometimes we leave the uh, dumbbells on the floor um, not such a big issue as long as it's not wired that can tangle the roller the robot will just hit something bounce off and then do the next available section of the floor but this one here saying that it has sensor to avoid such things. So if I leave a pair of shoes in the middle of the room, ideally this one will not hit it. So for 450 pounds, you get this. It comes in quite a big box and it's actually quite heavy as well inside. I will show you guys what it means by mopping, but most likely I won't be showing that in this video for you because that will be a topic altogether for another video. Unless it can suck out the water if it is just dragging a piece of cloth around that will be something that i won't ever be using in my household it might be useful for some but for me i would rather just do it myself manually rather than use a robot to drag a piece of cloth around for obvious reason that you know it's just simpler that way so the box is really well designed it does look really premium um, it does say here work with alexa hello for £450, I do expect the top premium product, including packaging and finishing and the overall experience of opening the box. And I think Lucy didn't disappoint me. Here you have a kind of a clean layout and you have a envelope with all the documentation inside, including, I guess, um, instruction booklets. Okay, so the robot is of a round shape with a gold kind of insert on top. It's plastic construction. Underneath the machine, you got two drive rollers. So these are the main drive units and the pivot point so for it to turn. The actual sucking um, inlet is here with a uh, brush roller. So far, the five or six robot cleaner that I have tested usually have two rollers and they spring in the direction where they push all the dust into the middle of the pathway. But this one here, there's only one brush. Maybe the high suction rate will compensate the effectiveness of cleaning with just one brush but we will see what happens so there's six different uh, sensor around it and you got two connect point for um, connecting to the base um, this one will return to base automatically when um, battery is required charging in the front we have a camera here which is quite distinctive uh, feature for this product once you lift up the top, you've got a USB charging port, a reset button, power button, home button, and also your rubbish tank. 
the tank come with a filter so that you know the dirty air doesn't come back out straight and it goes inside like this it also come with this device here i think this one is like a mopping um, plate come with a couple of towers for mopping the floor okay and we have a roller substitute so i think this is to replace the roller so if instead of having a roller if you don't want that you can use this device right here okay electronic wise it comes with cables and power adapter because that's what you need for the base station okay in here we got a three pin power brick or power adapter and this one is a 20 volt and 2 amp um, power supply so here is the base it goes sits against the wall hopefully and then you've got two contacts so when the robots roll over we start charging and then you plug in the cable in here i personally not really a gold person i think it's a bit over the top um, but then this one here everything is gold so you've got a company logo in gold the connector is gold color you've got a uh, inlay which is gold obviously the top ring which is gold as well but i would prefer just everything black but that's just me because i'm boring now it say here scan qr code but if you haven't be observant about the box you will never find it because the qr code is not on the robot it's not in the instruction booklet it's not anywhere to be found and you know where it is right here so this big box four sides six sides and it's right at the bottom right here that's the QR code. It took me a while to find it. I mean, I can type in and search, but I just want to go through the like user experience, what you guys will find out when, when you guys like, you know, open the box. No big deal, but you know, I don't understand why they don't just put the QR code somewhere in the document or even underneath the robot. When you scan the QR code, it will take you to the Trifo website. And the listed here is £699 on market price. I got it for 450 on Amazon. So uh, price might vary. It tells you a lot about, you know, the robot, which I have gone through with you guys, plus a bit more. And the link to download the app is actually just halfway down. So App Store, because I'm an Apple user, Trivel, get. And that's, I guess, is the most difficult part of installing the software for this machine. So you will be greeted by a selecting your country screen. You can register with your phone number or email. Either way, it will be okay. Okay, once you log into the account, what you need to do is add device. And I have the Lucy, which is the top of the range robots for this company. So first, make sure the system is on. So we need to press the on button. Okay, so I press the power button and I can see that it starts spooning up and the Wi-Fi button is now littered blue. And next thing you need to do is share your Wi-Fi with the robot and all you need to do is confirm it on your app. Let's connect me to your home Wi-Fi. Please follow the instructions on the app and use my camera to scan the QR code. I've scanned the QR code. Connecting now. And then you can name your robot. I'm just going to Lobby Lucy. New version available. So install now. Update. Okay, so now it's downloading the software and then updating the robot. So start video. You see that? Obviously recording my voice as well. So if I... Hello? Hello? Oh my god, they're so loud. <laughs> okay, let's turn off the mic so we don't get the feedback. And then let's make it bigger. So you guys can see it. So this is supposed to be 1080p. Um, looking at the sharpness is, I think it is 1080p, but the compression rate is quite high. So uh, it's, it's not as clear as my Arrow uh, home CCTV, but it's showing 
pretty much instant. So we've got half a second delay. Yeah, this is so freaky. So yeah, so this is the major selling point of this CCTV camera. And I'm um, not sure about the angle of the CCTV. I mean, it's sometimes inappropriate if, uh, if, if you're a visitor wearing some um, clothing. But um, let's not talk about that for now. But let's just say you're at home and you're wearing trousers. So this will be perfectly fine. And um, I think it's actually record as well. So video surveillance is off. Video saved to album. Yeah, so that's just a quick setup. So it took me about five, 10 minutes to suss out how everything works. Yes, it could be easier. So QR code. And part of the reason why it takes a bit longer is because I didn't read the video instruction, which is on the app, thinking that I know everything already, but I don't. So make sure you do follow the instruction if you are to get this robot. Now link in the description, link in the description of um, the exact products of that I show you today. But uh, at the moment, it's only 50% battery, so I will let it charge until 100 and then come back and show you guys on the floor when it starts to work. So a couple of hours later, it is now 100% battery, so we can proceed to test the machine. So this has not been set up yet, so I have quickly put in the base and the wire. And the first one I'll tell you that is I don't like the white wire. I don't know why a black machine comes with a white wire. Maybe it's because it's previous models are white, I don't know. But you can hide them or you can get a black extension cable. It's just one of those like, you know, um, very standard adapter cable thing. So you can get one which is low voltage extender from from the base to that. And the second thing is um, the length of the wire is really short. So at the moment it's plugged onto my socket at the wall there. But unless you have a socket very near to the base, you're limited to where you put it. But again, I'm sure you can just extend with a two wire um, cables. I think those cables are what CCTV quite standard kind of extending cable. But anyway, so let's start. Um, like I say, this is the first time running this machine. Um, instead of doing clean, you got more uh, more feature. Uh, let me just close closer so you guys can see it. So you got uh, more features, and then it comes to this one: um, designed uh, room cleaning, map management and uh, suction setting. So suction setting, I'll put it into middle, and then you got map management. After the map is created, instruction for map creation, those are, this is very important. Um, open all the doors of the room that you want the robots to vacuum to clean so they can move from room to room. Clean up the scatter wire and sundry so, um, of the, <laughs> so basically keep the, keep the floor clear. Uh, do not move the robot vacuum and charging station during the creation of the map until it's automatically returned to the charging station. So yeah, basically it just, it just means that it, it, uh, let, it, let it run, right? So um, I guess just clean. So on my phone is saying that um, please wait while the map is being loaded. But it is cleaning at the moment. So uh, the interesting is um, it didn't hit the chair just now. Obviously my camera is sitting on the chair. Um, it senses the chair and then turned around, which my previous uh, vacuum didn't do. They just bump into things. So far it hasn't hit anything yet. What I'm going to do is, while it's doing that, I'm going to turn up the suction. So this is maximum. I'm just being impatient. So I'm going to throw some stuff down and then I'll show you guys later what it can and what it can't do. I think that's the main part of most of my tests. And um, if the mic quality is rubbish, it's because it is quite loud. Aside from uh, the usual dust I have in the room, I'm going to chuck in a few random screws for it as well. 
because at the end of the day this is a studio and I do a lot of uh, stuff here and um, I'm not going to be able to pick up every single little bit before I start to do work so um, yeah and this is on maximum suction I just want you guys to see um, what it can and what it can't do I say I think it, it, it hits something once or twice so far whereas any other robots I have tested before would have bumped into a lot of things already and I think that is one of the biggest um, advantage of this model over the previous one I tested. It does have some kind of sensor to pick up any small bits. So instead of keep bumping into stuff, this one actually stops. So even the one that I had right here, they do have some kind of a radar to detect where the room boundary and all that is, but it doesn't stop hitting like stuff. But this one here actually stop and turn around. What it means is that if you are not a very tidy person and you have stuff lying around, instead of the robot running over and get caught and stop cleaning this one will actually avoid it and keep cleaning um, the rest of the room which is fantastic but i just let it run now Okay, a couple of screws here, some garden soil dust over there. And this is coil matting. And this is about like uh, a centimeter thick. And a couple of minutes into cleaning, it's already showing a map of my studio here. Um, the studio right here is like an L shape and um, it looks like it's picking it up quite nicely. And it shows you where your base station is and where the actual machine is and what's the area that has um, cover. So welcome to the age of robots. This is a camera on top of a robot. Just testing it out at the moment, making a video. I didn't expect the robot to be this strong, to be honest, carrying a DSLR camera on top. This is probably one of the best camera that I've tested so far. Uh, I'm actually expensive, but I do understand where the money is going. And later on, I'm going to show you. It pick up all the screws and uh, nuts that I put on, on the carpet. So yeah, this is one of the stronger versions as well. <laughs> now I'm worrying about my camera. Is it going to topple over and break? I'm feeling brave today. So got a camera in the front. So see a lot of obstacle and try to avoid. Instead of keep bumping into stuff, this one actually stops. Oh, it's trying to climb. Oh, is my camera gonna make it? Yes! It didn't fall down. Oh, that's the camera. Oh, it sees me and turn around. Interesting. <laughs> 